tree of life. Behold, that before the emanations were emanated and the creatures created, the upper simple light had filled the whole existence. And there was no vacancy, such as an empty atmosphere, a hollow or a pit, but all was filled with simple boundless light. And there was no such part as head or tail, but everything was simple, smooth, light, balanced evenly and equally, and it was called the endless light. His simple will came the desire to create the world and emanate the emanations, to bring to light the perfection of his deeds, his names, his appellations, which was the cause of the creation of the worlds. He then restricted himself in the middle. Precisely in the center, he restricted the light, and the light drew far off to the sides around that middle point. And there remained an empty space, a vacuum circling the middle point and the restriction had been uniform around the empty point so that the space was evenly circled around it there after the restriction having formed a vacuum and a space, precisely in the middle of the endless light, a place was formed where the emanated and the created might reside. Then from endless light, a single line hung down, lowered down into that space. And through that line, he emanated, formed, created all the worlds. Before these four worlds came to be, there was one infinite, one name in wondrous hidden unity, that even for the closest of angels, there is no attainment in the endless. As there is no mind that can perceive it, for he has no place, no boundary, no name.